Hey there boys and girls, my name is Kyle, better on the YouTubes as Blinkraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a skybox for Unity using Photoshop. Now we're going to get started by going to New, and we're going to make a new document that is 8192 by 6144. Now if yours looks like mine, it has this background layer, I'm just going to double click it, click OK so it's unlocked, make a new layer above it, and just delete that one. Uh, now from here, we want to make, make a square so we can block things out. So I'm just going to click and drag to make a square. And then the property settings, I'm going to set to 2048 by 2048. And that's going to be our first square. I'm going to drop in some guidelines. Now if you don't have this ruler, you can hit Control R to pop it out. And now we have most of our lines, but we need to duplicate the square. And we just need one more set up right here. Drag over this next line. And now we can delete this, make a new layer and delete our other rectangle. So it's a little hard to see, but basically we have our basic square set up. So we have our front square, our right, our left, and our back, and then our top and our bottom. And we're not gonna use the rest of these. So we can just leave them blank or you can make them black or do whatever you wanna do. So now what you could do is you could drop in a guideline right in the middle so you can kind of see where the horizon's gonna be and you can just start dropping in clouds. You could paint in clouds, depends on what style you're going for. I'm going to jump cut to some nice custom artwork that I created that's in a more of a cartoonish style. All right, so once you're done dropping everything in and you think it looks pretty good, we're going to go ahead and file and we're going to save this to our desktop. I'm going to call mine Cloudy Day. Now, as a fun little trick, if you ever want to loop something off the side of your screen and bring it over to the other one, all you have to do is select your layer, go to Filter, Other, Offset, and then as you adjust how many pixels to offset it, it will loop it back around. And that's how I have clouds that start right here and then end right here. And so it's a nice seamless loop to the other side. Once you're ready to export out all your images, all you have to do is use the crop tool and drop everything down to the guidelines and then export out each one of these 2048 by 2048 images. I prefer to save them with names such as top, front, right, left, bottom, and back. Once you have everything saved out, we can switch over to Unity. To bring mine in, I just like to open up the folder and drag everything in. I find it's a little bit faster than trying to import everything individually. Once you click on Unity, it's gonna take a second because it has to create all the metadata for your images. But once it's done loading, you can switch over to Unity and it'll open back up. Now that you're in Unity, you wanna click on all your images. I suggest you shift click to select everything at once, go to Inspector, and change the wrap mode from repeat to clamp and click apply. Sometimes if you don't click clamp, there will be little white edges on some of your images and it just kind of looks crappy, so I suggest you do that. Next, we're gonna right click it, go to create, create a material. I'm gonna call this skybox. I'm gonna switch the shader from standard to skybox six-sided. Now I'm gonna drop in all of our skybox images. Now to actually use your skybox, you need to go to the lighting tab. If you don't have this, you wanna to go to window and select the lighting. I just leave mine locked in right here because it's pretty useful and I use it a lot. Drag in our skybox and now you can look around. However, you might notice there's some weird errors going on. And that's because actually in Unity, the skyboxes left and right are actually swapped. So for left, you actually wanna use your right image. And for your right image, you actually wanna use your left image. And there you go. You now have a custom made skybox. Now you might notice there are some pretty noticeable hard lines, especially for some of these little stripe lines. And some of that stuff you just kinda have to buffer out on your own. Maybe go back into Photoshop and try to curve some a little bit more. I highly suggest if you are interested in getting a little bit more of a professional looking skybox out of what you're making, you might wanna invest in something like the Pano 2 VR. There is probably torrents online if you really don't wanna spend the money for it. So I suggest at least looking for some better software. I'm just showing you that it is possible to do it on your own. But again, sometimes spending some money gives you better results. And in the end, what's more important? I guess it's up for you to decide. As always, my name is Kyle. You learned something cool today. If you have any ideas for different tutorials or any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and I'll try to get back to you.